Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's take a look again on euro currency. So market mostly uh, has completed our setup that we talked about recently in the last video. So um, the retracement that we uh, were expecting for uh, now mostly is done. The market stands at most, uh, actually in the most important point for a short term setup. Whether in the nearest uh, hours we, we probably uh, will get the uh, clarity whether the market will turn up or the setup that we are talking about could fail. So uh, on a daily chart, don't, only one thing that I would like to add to previous analysis is the MACD predictor line. So as you can see, market stands right now around it. So we need to keep an eye on possible bullish grabber that could be forming here today. So as you know, this action was not just purely by some economical and market uh, factors that was due external impact on the Kosovo conflict. As you know, the yesterday it was the starting the turmoil again and, uh, and this uh, uh, area. So there was another, another additional factor why market shows a bit further acceleration. It's also the reason why you see the skyrocket action on the gold market. So anyway, uh, first reaction is done. Now everybody looks for what, what will, will happen. Uh, but in the current moment, market stands at some support area and we need to see what will, will happen. The breaking of this area and turning back to the lows, it will be quite bearish moment and, uh, and it will mean that uh, the bullish setup hardly will work and market will be ready for challenging of these lows. So in this case we, we need to turn back again to our trend continuation. We will see. But currently today we will be watching for this area. Speaking about upside targets, mostly stands the same. As we said, first destination point 1266 because this is the potential neckline of the double bottom patch. Uh, another moment here, guys, on the Dell is that market has uh, to show our prediction relatively fast because any fluctuations, sideways actions, flat action here, it will be not very good sign for idea of the double bottom. So when market shows uh, some uh, unreasonable pauses uh, on a rally up to the neckline from the second bottom, it always looks like a signs of weakness. So we understand that this is actually mostly due to the uh, unexpected event, the political event that has happened. But anyway, on the chart, it doesn't look uh, very good for bullish performance. So on the four hour time frame chart, we've got our trap here. Market's forming right now. BC leg around, stands around major uh, 50% support. The euro currency likes to show most of all. Uh, here, I will just adjust the ABCD patient. So, uh, COP target stands at 12.21. OP stands precisely at the point that we are watching for. 12.62 that coincides with our neckline. So, we can see this previous stop stance. So, if we would be correct and market indeed uh, will show this upper direction, this will be right to the neckline. Now, what bad moments we have? So, actually, on the on the follow time frame chart, uh, guys, uh, the, the bad moment that we see it's of course this rally down. So this actual collapse that we have, this is not good sign for when you're watching for some kind of the ABCD retracement. It is too steep; it's very fast, and this is not good uh, moment for bullish scenario. So it's it's, a, it's really this fast acceleration here makes overall idea of the taking long position here is a bit uncomfortable. So when you see the very strong action in one other direction, it's a psychological, it's very difficult to take the position against this action. And uh, this is not just a psychological issue, this is just uh, a real factor that when the market shows the really fast action, it, it could mean that uh, the overall reversal will be more difficult and uh, it's more risk that market will continue move down. And actually that's what we see right now, so market is coming a bit lower. Uh, our setup on the hourly chart is done perfect. So if you remember, we talked about the hand shoulders, and indeed, this hand shoulders has been done. A, B, C, top, 
downward action has happened. Now take a look what we have. Market hits the OP. OP has been hit right at the six, uh, major 50% support, 1160. But uh, the ne negative moment with this CD lag is too fast. So you can see that the CD much faster than in the AB action. And although market stands right at the top, here you need closely watch for minor patterns. For first of all, take a look at the butterfly here is forming. 127 extension we, we will ignore because here market just dropped right 127 in one blink of eye. Now we are watching for 1618, it stands 1150. So it stands relatively close to 618 support. Uh, and next stands 1130 is XOP. So uh, we have to warn you about the more risk with this trade that we initially thought. So initially we thought that it probably will be a bit more gradual, especially when we saw the first leg. It was very flat and quiet. We said, well, that is, is going uh, as we would like to see. But then we've got this one. And currently this trade will take uh, will bring more risk. From that standpoint, you need to decide by yourself. Would you like to take the part in this trade? In what trading volume you will use for trading this setup? Uh, anyway, currently, guys, uh, market stands at the moment where the trade should start. This is an area between current levels, 11.55, and uh, XOPL around 11.33. So this 20 pips ra ra range is the point where market has to turn up. It means that stop should be placed somewhere below the XOP area. Because you do not know definitely where it should happen. Market actually could proceed right to the XOP, just because we have the hand shoulders and ultimate target of the hand shoulders is XOP and the distance between the top of the head to the neckline. You probably know that we talked about very often. So you can see it's usually coincides with XOP. So you can see it's really true. Uh, so you should be read that market could drift slightly higher just by the momentum that we've got. And watch for this area as a possible point where market could turn up. That area also, guys, will be kind of the indicator for us because if market will jump below it and break all the supports, break the XOP, turning down again, this will be a negative sign and it will increase chances on the total failure of the bullish setup. So that also will be a very important point. Uh, here is the risk that we, we will have from this trade. So that's decision up to you whether you would like to do this or not. But if you would like to trade, you would like to take the long position based on overall setup. That's the area where you have to make the decision. So this will be the point where you need to take the long position with placing stops and keep an eye on what will happen. And also keep an eye on the daily chart, whether we'll get the grabber here today or not. That is uh, what we will see today on the euro.